Hello everyone, my name is Ronak and you're watching VectorWart. So in today's video, we'll learn how to use custom fonts in Avalonia. Customizing your Avalonia application with unique fonts can add a distinctive look and feel. This guide will walk you through the process of integrating custom fonts in your Avalonia applications. So without any further ado, let's get started. So let's start by creating a new project. Uh, select uh, avalonia.net mvvm app if you do not see these templates please check out my previous video i will leave a link in the description also you can click on the i button here on the top uh, to check out that video so moving ahead i'll select avalonia.net mvvm app and click on next let's give this project a name google fonts and click on next Let's leave these details as is and click on create. So uh, to add custom fonts to your project, before you can add it, you need to include it in your project. So in this guide, we will be using a font called uh, Nonito, uh, which is already stored in, which will be stored in our application resources. So to get this font, uh, you will have to click on the get button. And once you click on this, it will be uh, downloaded in your folder where it will be a zip file. You need to extract it and you will see the various ways uh, formats or various um, uh, options uh, of uh, Nunito font, regular, extra bold, and so on. So you have all these fonts downloaded now. So to include it in your project, first we need to declare the font in our application resources. So to do that, we need to go back to our application. So here our application is loaded. And let me build this before we start. And uh, you saw this uh, application designer preview uh, on my screen. So to get that, you need to go to extensions, manage extensions. And under manage extensions, you will see uh, this install tab here. Uh, and here you can see the Avalonia for Visual Studio uh, 2022 extension that I have downloaded and installed. So that is the reason it is on my install tab. But for you, you will have to go to online and search for that extension. And once you have it, you will have to install and that will help you uh, preview your designs uh, while you are uh, working on the code. So here is the designer. Now uh, moving back to the custom fonts, let's go to Solution Explorer and under Solution Explorer, let's open the app.xaml file. And in that uh, app.xml file, we need to add application resources. So let's add application uh, dot resources. And inside this, we'll add a font family. And inside this font family, let's add a key. Sorry. Let's say key and inside this key, let's give this a name, this font a name, Nonito font. And uh, next, uh, let's close this and give the path. So uh, to give the path, uh, we need to have the asset. So inside this assets folder, let's create another folder called fonts. And inside this font, let's add the font that we downloaded. So let's add existing item and go to the folder where we have downloaded. And inside the static folder, here you have to select all files and you will see all the da fonts that were downloaded. So let's let me just control A and add. Once you add it, you, you will find all the fonts in your uh, fonts folder. And now uh, let's move on. Uh, let me hide this for a bit. Uh, and let's add the other details. So here we will specify the path. And to do that, we'll use this uh, key Avalonia resources, A-V-A-R-E-S and colon forward slash name of our project, Google fonts and forward slash assets forward slash fonts and give a hashtag and the name of the font. No need to. Yeah, that's right. So uh, let me save this and let's move to our 
uh, main window and start using our custom font. So once uh, our font is declared in our application resources, we can use it here. So to reference our custom fonts, uh, we use the font family attribute uh, within the static resource markup extension. And we need to pass the key of the declared font as the parameter. So in this case, it will be the Nunito font that we defined as a key in our custom font. So here uh, we have a text block which says uh, welcome to Avalonia. So it is using some default font. So we will add a font family and uh, give define a static resource. And inside the static resource, we'll give the key name that we defined here in the app.xaml. App this is the key. So let me copy it and paste it over here. And let's close this curly brace. And next, we will define the font size. Let's say 70 points. And that is all you need to do uh, to include a custom font in your Avalonia application. Let me run this application. And while it is building, I uh, for those who haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. It means a lot. It motivates me to create more such videos. So in this uh, above uh, example, uh, the text block control will use the Nunito font that we declared in our application resources. Uh, the text bound to the text block will now uh, appear in the Nunito font and the specified font sites will be applied. We'll just wait for the application to load and you will see all that um, on the screen. So there you go, uh, the Nunito font is applied. Remember that the font family attribute can be applied to any control uh, that has the font family property, meaning that you can use the custom font throughout your application. And that is all. Uh, you, we have successfully integrated a custom font into our Avalonia application. Now you can add a unique touch to your application's UI with the fonts of your choice. Hope you all liked watching this video. Till then, bye-bye.